from the Tantara mine in the Katanga. Quite a magnificent piece. You have a matrix of calcite, solid calcite, slight yellowish coloration to the calcite. And then sitting on top of that, you have a roof of these diaptase crystals. Just going a little bit closer. I think associated with some of these diaptases, we may have minor chrysocola too. Ah, and even some shatukite. There seems to be a little bit of shatukite in that. From a display point of view, various aspects of display. I quite enjoy this angle, where you get that lovely gem green uh, crystallization or the, the color of the diaptases running through. So let's first of all, having it standing like this, we'd need a stand. Going around like that. And then of course this calcite crystallization. Calcite always fractures in the cubic zone. There you have the calcite running around there. So from that angle, looking from the top down, we'd have this effect. All of course from the famous uh, Tantara mine, famous for lovely diaptases and shatukites. There would be some shatukite on here, some diaptases. And of course typically associated uh, would be some calcite. You see the main body of the specimen is the calcite. Good size and a lovely, lovely color. Uh, copper emerald, some may call this uh, the diaptase. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer there. There you can see, I think the, the shatukite might actually be running into the uh, diaptase crystals.